so I've, uh, I've managed to nip out of work a couple of minutes early today um, because the powder coat done. Um, so the last time we see the frame and everything, it was still that horrible gold colour. Didn't really look too good at all. Um, but now, um, now it's all going to be one colour. Um, it's no big surprise. It's, it's only black. It's just going to be black. Um, I did have a phone call last week to say that unfortunately when they shop lasted it they found uh, a very small bit of filler in the frame rail underneath the, the fuel tank. So they sent me some pictures because I was away with work so I wasn't able to actually go and inspect it. They sent me some pictures and um, it didn't look that bad. I, kn I know it's going to stick out but it didn't look, it didn't look that bad. Uh, there was nothing I could do about it and I just I need to get the frame back so that I can just crack on with, with getting this built up now because it's not long uh, and I've still got uh, another two weeks uh, different times that I'm away between now and the Mully Mile so I don't even know how many days it is now till the race I don't even want to think about it if I'm honest because I've even just considered quickly pulling the engine apart as well but we'll see how that goes anyway so we're on our way to KDS now in Whittlesea, so I'll get down there, get that loaded up, um, get it into the workshop where we've had a little bit of a spruce up and a, and a swap around so everything's nice and tidy to be able to reassemble the bike and we'll get our first glimpse of what the frame and that looks like with the new subframe and all fully welded, see how quick we can get it built back up, so yeah, I'll see you in a second. I hope I'm in picture. I've never filmed like this before. Um, so basically I think we're going to need a bit of an explanation, aren't we? So when we left off in the last video, let's put that out a bit further. When we left off in the last video, I was taking the frame to powder coaters and now all of a sudden we're at the mile. So what happened? <clears throat> well, I took the frame to powder coaters and unfortunately we got a, a message to say that there was some faults with the frame. There were some holes. So I had to go collect it. But due to my work commitments, I was working away uh, I collected it the night to go away for a week with work and when I got home uh, there were some other businesses going on at home then I was able to complete the frame weld it up um, and get it back to the powder coaters I had to go away with work again for another week so it just kept going on and on and on by the time I actually collected the frame there was only four weeks left until the mile and me being the worry pants that I am new to YouTube and that sort of stuff I just didn't have the time to film all the details of the bike going back together. I'm sorry, I do apologise. But, because, like I say, because I'm new to YouTube, it takes me about a week <clears throat> just to edit one video, as short as they are, and not that great a quality, I'm sure some of you would, uh, would, would say, but I'm still learning, so it takes me a long time to factor in then having to edit videos, when sometimes I was coming in from the workshop at 12 o'clock at night trying to get things done on the bike. Um, I just had to basically just say, oh, I can't, I can't do it, couldn't do it. Couldn't film, edit, and build um, in that four week frame. It'd be awesome if I had someone with me just to do the filming and that, that'd be cool. But we got it done, um, literally just a couple of days ago. If any of you follow my Instagram stories, uh, Instagram posts and things like that, you'll see that I was, you know, I could take a picture, Instagram it, page, Instagram it, uh, a picture, Instagram it, and it was, it was quick and easy. It was a way of staying kind of in the loop with those of you that are on Instagram. Now, if you're wondering why is it so quiet here, it's only half past six in the morning. Um, there's so much going on here. Uh, at first, it felt like a bit of carnage. Two hours to get in. They said the gates opened at three. They didn't let anyone in at all. And it was a bit of a free-for-all with camping and parking and all that sort of stuff. But we're here. They seem to let out or set out a lot of rules which no one seems to be adhering to either no barbecues, it's in plenty of barbecues uh, no riding anywhere other than on the racetrack everyone's riding everywhere but what a blast it's been so far uh, I know we only got here yesterday and we've had the, the, the one night but it is awesome they have laid out some amazing things so I'm currently walking around one of the tracks I think I don't even know what one I'm on so we've entered the hill climb class. It's not a hill climb, it's not up a vertical hill. 
uh, it's like you're seeing on the TV. It's a, a slalom up a slight gradient. So it's like gradient. I'm out of breath walking up here. That's just because I'm out of shape as well. But yeah, um, it's uh, coming up a, a slight hill, left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right, right, and then it's the finish line, which is actually just there. And I'm doing the sprint, which is just over that side, and uh, just a straight line, eighth of a mile. There's loads of people here, loads of racers. Uh, I'm walking around, seeing people that I've even met on Instagram, through YouTube and things like that. It's such a social event. Everyone's like friendly, saying hello and all that sort of stuff. It is really cool. Grounds, absolutely stunning. They've, uh, how they managed to do a dirt race on such a prestige piece of ground, I've never, never worked it out, but the castle over there, beautiful. Uh, they've got some events going on over there as well, the Art of Motorcycle, um, where my friend, Mr. Hull, Jonathan Hull, go check out his page on Instagram. He's got two of his bikes being displayed over there. But yeah, man, I'm out of breath. So I'm nearly back up my can, uh, back up my van now. Later on, I'll sort of give you a little bit of a walk around the bike, show you how it come out. And it's already dirty because we've been riding it around, around here yesterday. She's a bit dusty and things like that, but okay, that's why we built it, and it built it to ride it. So cool. Speak to you in a bit. <laughs> 